everyone, Havana Nail Person, and today is Monday, December 12th, and I didn't get a chance to fill my makeup basket because I was sick. I hardly had a voice, and I finally got most of it back. I'm feeling better, but the voice is still a little off, so don't mind that. So I just wanted to share my makeup basket, what I used last week, even when I was sick. I did tone it down a bit because I didn't feel good. Um, so let me just tell you what I wore and my thoughts on some new products that I used as well. So to start off, um, finishing up my e.l.f. primer mist. Uh, you know, I've done a little kind of backstory on this and compared it to Smashbox primer water mist. So please check that out. I'll leave that link above. And I also brought out my Marc Jacobs. This is the um, Invisible Undercover Primer, and it's the one that's kind of coconut scented. So it's not the slippery type of primer. It's a moisturizing type primer. So really good. I've had samples of this. I liked it, and I did buy it a few months back, but I'm finally getting to it. So perfect time to start using a primer like this when I'm kind of dry because when you're taking decongestants your face does dry out and a tip one thing I did notice that when I was so dry even as horrible as I felt I wore a sheet mask like probably almost every night and that did help with um, some of the dryness so if you have sheet masks and you do have a cold and you're taking decongestants and you get that dry area use sheet masks it really did help me so, because I wasn't feeling that well, I did default to like a CC cream or a BB cream. I had some sample packets that I was trying out. I was quite pale, so the ones that were light medium kind of gave me some life back to my face, thank God, because I looked quite pale. I kind of shocked myself. So, any BB cream I used last week, and in conjunction with that, I also used my it Cosmetics Illuminate Celebration Foundation Illumination. And let me show you, I'm really hitting pan on this baby. Thank God. So look at that. You can see there's a couple of spots now. So very happy that it is finally being used up. So again, coming back to the face, I used um, a few other products, which let me discuss that. Of course, I'm still using the Fiona Styles um, Contour and Light Medium. And like I said, I think it's just because I'm a diehard. I want to use it up. So I'm just taking my brush and just going through either the light and medium or the medium and dark and just having at it. Not a fave, but I am going to use it up. Additionally, on my face... Um, I've been using the Tarte Sculptor, and this is just a deluxe size, and it just gives you a little bit of color back, which is perfect for last week, and I'm actually almost done with this as well. And I do own a full-size one in shade 1, which is what this is, and I believe, I don't know if I have two, but I definitely have three as well, and that's a little bit deeper and cooler. So, um, under eyes, I've been using this new product, a product that I found that I really like, and I mentioned it before, the Naked Skin Corrector in the shade Peach. And this is the second sample that I have, and I just ordered two with my VIB Rouge $25 off, so that's how much I like it. So, loving this product. And then under eyes, because I needed a little extra help, I either used my Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector and maybe a little bit of my um, Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. This is a serum concealer, so it does smooth out nicer with, than um, some other concealers. So this by itself might be enough, but if I use this one, I'm using the peach underneath it. So one of these two I was using last week. And then on my actual eyes, um, a palette that I've been using um, had some pinker tones, so I've been using my Laura Mercier stick. And actually, 
This is the one I got in my play box because the one I was using last week was just at the end and it broke off. So actually this one is a new one. So I did use my Laura Mercier Rose Gold last week primarily as a base. And if it wasn't using that, I was using the Mica um, Beauty Cosmetics. This is just an eye primer, but it's a skin tone shade, so it just cancels out any darkness or veininess that you may have on your eyelids, and I really do like it. And, of course, my e.l.f. under eye setting powder. I forgot to mention that. So a new product I got this week. Um, so you know I'm on the never-ending quest of an eyelash curler. So I did get this from MAC. This is a half-lash curler. And let me show you in comparison. So it, you can see it's a lot smaller. And I thought this would be the be-all, end-all. But to be honest with you, I think there's a curve with using this because you do have to be careful as you're you're curling your lashes. Um, it's a lot straighter. You don't want to pinch. So um, when I feel a little bit better on the weekend, I'll play with it more. I didn't play with this weekend. I didn't wear any makeup this weekend. But this is the half lash curler, and I thought this would be the answer to my eyelash curler problems. Not yet, though. And then on my eyes, um, the, I pulled out the Clinique High Impact Mascara. And this is okay. It's a good mascara. I think I've used it before. Um, so enjoying it. Um, did I roll this? I might have rolled this over from last week. I'm not sure if I started it this week or last week. But it's still going pretty strong. So I probably will use it through the remainder of this week as well. And then on my eyes this week, um, I guess another new product, a feature product. Um, this is the Studio On The Go eyeshadow palette, and I got this in a BoxyCharm. And a few weeks ago I used the, the warmer palette. This one is called Cool Down, and it has cooler shades. Now it does not have names on the shades, but this is what they look like. So it's a beautiful palette. They, it lists for a BoxyCharm, you know those cards that you get? I don't have one right here. Um, it lists $49.95. This is not $49.95, but maybe $20, I would say. But it's a great, great palette. It has matte shades. Um, these two are matte. This is a matte shade. This one was glittery, which I didn't realize the one day I wore, wore to work, and I saw some sparkles underneath my eyes, and I'm like, where did that come from? And then I realized that it was in the eyeshadow. So, I tended to use more of um, this outer L area, and then the matte, and then this one as a highlight. So, you could just see, it was a nice light highlight. I'm doing it in the wrong area. It's hard to see it when you do it on your hand. So, this was the highlight. So, it's a, just a light, very shimmery shade. This is like the all-over lid shade, and again, it's like a skin tone, so you're not going to see it. This is primarily, I guess, what I would say I wore on my lid. So it's just a nice, rosy, shimmery shade. And um, this I used on the crease a lot. And then this shade I have on my eyes right now. So, um, this shade right here. And a little bit of this guy. So you can see it's pretty pigmented. And let me tell you, this Studio On The Go, I've been very happy with these palettes. Again, this is a cool one and I have the warm one. Very happy. So if you have a chance to pick one up, if you see it and I don't know, Ipsy or BoxyCharm or something, I would recommend it. And another thing I tried on my eyes, which, sneak peek, um, I did get the Mariah Carey collection, or most of the collection, and it was probably, I think I just didn't, I got everything but the dusting powder and the brushes. I think that's it. Um, 
and the eye liquid eyeliner, I think, or felt tip liner. So this is the um, my Mimi, which is her little caricature, I guess you'd go call it in a in a highlight. What I think is supposed to be a highlight. It's called um, it's a mineralized skin finish, extra dimension extra dimension skin finish. So it's a cute little face. I mean, it's absolutely adorable. But for a highlighter, it's not going to work for a highlighter for me or anyone with um, fair to light skin tones. Because you can see it's beautiful. But it's, it's just too deep as a highlighter. But I did use it as an eyeshadow. So it's excellent as an eyeshadow. So actually I wore this on maybe Thursday or Friday. Just you know, kind of smoked it out a little bit with some eyeliner and I was done because again, I was just one quick looks, looks because I wasn't feeling that good. So this is absolutely adorable and it was great for me as an eyeshadow, warm coppery shade. So I do love this and I will utilize it, but I mean, it's just so cute. I don't know how far I'm going to dig in. So I just wanted to mention that because I did wear it. So here's a product I'm not happy with. Um, this is Milk Makeup, and this is the highlighter stick in uh, Supernova. And I was very excited to see a highlighter like this. It was something different. And I'm, I'm yes, I'm obsessed with highlighters. But this comes in this, like, um, what would you call, like an iridescent, like a blue-pink shift. And let me see if I can get some of this on my arm so you can see it. It's very sheer. See how it's very sheer? It's like iridescent. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but I really rubbed in there to, to get this on my arm, which is barely anything. So, what I've noticed about this Milk Makeup eye Highlighter is the formula, it's very... Um, it, it's thin. I, if you try to apply it with your finger, which typically I, I wear cream blush um, highlighters all the time. I just tap on the, the product itself and place it on the cheek. But um, this one in particular, you, if you were to apply it on your cheek, it would pull all your makeup off. So wasn't happy with that. And even just dabbing with my finger and applying it, was just not enough. Um, so it's very subtle, but again, it pulls your makeup and it's very um, like a creamy, like oil-based product. So it's going to pull at your makeup. So I'm really not happy with it. In fact, I did get the sample in Birchop box, excuse me, of the regular highlighter and I found the same thing with the sample from um, Birchbox, that it's it's just this it's a nice shade, but it's it because it's such a thick like oily type consistency, it'll pull makeup off. So I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it. So I have this big holographic, and this one is just a standard highlighter that's a sample. So I tried it, don't like it, but it went well with um, the Anastasia Moonchild Highlighter Palette. So this is very, this is quite a fun product, All right, there's no mirror in there. So you can see that quite different highlights. Um, we have a blue, a pink, a green, a silver, a blue, and a purple. So, quite different highlighters. Um, let's see if I could pull some. So, I'll, I'll swatch the purple, or rather the blue and the green. And I'll do those here. So, you can see it's really nice highlight. So, if you put that on with a fan brush, you get a nice highlight. In fact, I'm wearing the purple one right now. I didn't wear this today at work, but when I was just touching up a few minutes ago, I put on this one, the um, purple horseshoe. So yeah, it does pick up. I didn't realize it would, but this was a fun 
item to play with. And it went well with that holographic stick because it pulled that blue and the pink that's in the highlighter itself. So this was really fun to play with. Um, I would definitely play with this more. I don't know if it's still available, but the shades are gorgeous. Here's a silver one. Very pigmented, great palette for, you know, Anastasia quality. So really happy I got this. Um, I think I ordered it directly from the website. It wasn't, I don't know if it was on Sephora, but I did, I know I got it directly on the website, on the Anastasia website. And then for blush this week, I used, this is a new product. This is the Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush Palette. And it's this very metallic mirror type finish. And it contains three blushes, which are absolutely gorgeous. And if you haven't tried an hourglass blush, you really need to. Go to Sephora, dip your finger in, and try it. Because they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, do I have the names here? So this is um, Incandescent Electra. This is Brilliant Nude, and this is Euphoric Fusion. So, um, for the most part, because I was wearing minimal makeup, I was wearing this nude shade, which I will swatch. I don't want to get too much mirror in the frame. But, let's see, I'm running out of room. So it's just a nice shade. Yes, they're shimmery. You can see it, it is blended with their ambient light powders. So you do get that iridescence. So this is a great nude shade. And then for, a, I would say the most part, I wore some of this um, purpley one. Plum. Which one is that? That is Euphoric Fusion. I think I still have some product on my finger from the highlighter palette. But it's just a beautiful, it's, a, it's essentially a nude. It's just a hint of plum. So gorgeous, gorgeous blushes. Highly recommend any hourglass blush. And it's nice to get it in a palette like this. Um, so I think I got it. Did I get it in the VIP sale? No. I didn't. But it was just released recently. So love my hourglass blushes. And then for lips this week, um, aside from using tons of lip balm, which I defaulted to. I kept this in my little night drawer, um, sugar advanced therapy lip treatment, and I had this in my purse. It's the standard um, fresh sugar lip balm, and it really made quite a difference. Putting a lip on, balm on all the time and, and refraining from lip, liquid lipstick, which dries my lips. But what I found is. Um, uh, Bite Beauty's Amouche Bouche formula has been wonderful. Um, you could apply it and it stays for the better part of a day. Um, lasts almost as long as a liquid lipstick. Yes, I'm making that claim. I'm, it really lasts a long time. So I pulled out two of the lipsticks from my um, little Sephora, or Sephora kit. Yeah, the four lipsticks. It's called the Perfect Bite. It was the holiday kit. For the little mini version of lipsticks and these are their um, shades that are in their typical range. I have pepper and honeycomb and I have pepper on right now with just a little bit over a lip balm and pepper is just a tad uh, mauvier I would say. So I don't see how they get pepper out of that but that's uh, pepper. And again, I love these formula of these lipsticks. They are so good. And this is Honeycomb, which I probably wore probably more so last week because it was more of a nude. So that's basically what I wore on my lips when I was sick. And then finishing up, because I finished up my Ulta setting spray, I'm now on the NYX Matte Finish um, Makeup Setting Spray. So that is it. Um, glad I have a voice back. What's what the, what there is left of it, and um, that's it. So hope to talk to you soon, and I'll see you later. Bye.